as we near the end of 2013, beginning of 2014, that the unemployment rate has dropped down to the low sevens. We're calling for 7.3. And importantly, that uh, inflation and wages uh, pick up a bit. So core CPI or core PCE, which is what the Fed focuses on, has actually dropped to 1.3% year over year. That's not the type of number that's going to get the Fed to turn hawkish anytime soon. That really needs to pick up well above their, their target of 2% for them to react to inflation pressures. But we think as the unemployment rate comes down and labor markets improve, that the Fed eventually reacts to that. But again, we think it's, it's l much later than what the market is pricing in right now. And so let me stay with you, Barclays. Uh, when do we get a signal and what does that signal look like? Do they first come out by saying something like the committee has judged that the risk has you know, tilted to this and so we're going to pull back or do they just start pulling back? Well, I think it's important to, to listen to the right FOMC officials. The market, in our view, overreacted to the minutes at the beginning of the year, which were, were backed up uh, with, with more recent minutes, where basically every Fed official gets the same voice, has an equal say. And in, when it comes to running policy, that's not the case. It's really only a few Fed officials that are driving Fed policy here, uh, Chairman Bernanke, Vice Chair Yellen, and a, a few others. It's not the hawks of the committee that are signaling an early exit to, to QE3. So we're listening to the, the Fed officials that are actually running monetary policy, at, uh, and they are certainly not sending any signs that we're likely to see a pullback anytime soon.